Well, as you can see, I've been making purchases even though I haven't been making videos and I have more to show you. With that said, it's good to be back doing this. It's been too long and uh, hopefully this will now represent the beginning of a flow of new videos. Uh, if you're seeing this, note that there is a video that I did just before this one that you might want to check out uh, regarding lots of new fragrances that I've purchased. So there's more and I don't know how many of you are familiar with Taylor of Old Bond Street, but I buy their uh, shaving oil and shaving balm and uh, shaving supplies, and I really like that. I like them. Um, the only cologne or aftershave that I've used from that house has been their sandalwood cologne which is nice and I haven't tried anything else until recently but now I have so I'm going to zoom in here and we will talk about a few things well let's go over some names first we've got Mr. Taylor's a gentleman's cologne Number 74, Victorian Lime, and Taylor of, Taylor of Old Bond Street, Bay Rum. Oh, wow. Do we have some interesting stuff here? And by interesting, I do mean that could be interpreted. <laughs> so let's take a closer look. Okay, the first one I'd like to talk about is Mr. Taylor's cologne, Gentleman's Cologne. There it is next to number 74. <laughs> We're not talking about sports. There it is next to number 74. And let's take a look. Now, I wasn't sure. These were all these were uh, um, uh, sorry. All these were blind buys. Now, this had pretty good reviews, and I believe I got this one off of Amazon. So we're going to take a look at Mr. Taylor's cologne. Okay. Taylor of Old Bond Street, Mr. Taylor's Cologne, 3.38 ounce, sold on Amazon by Taylor of Old, Taylor of Old Bond Street, 4.5 stars for 18 customer re re reviews, $34.99, a masculine fragrance combined with an astringent, crisp and spicy fragrance, in which tarragon, lavender, and incense combine with hints of green, galbanum, and citrus for an elegant, manly scent and a warm, woody dry down with traces of cedar, sandal, patchouli, and musk. Suitable for all occasions. A hundred mil glass splash bottle. Um, that description's pretty accurate. Now, when I first purchased this and tried it out, I was a bit disappointed initially because there is a rubberiness to this that I wasn't so sure about at first. There is kind of a rubbery quality, like rubber, and <laughs> um, almost like a tire rubber, like a bitter rubber. And I had a little bit of an issue with that, but the more I used this, the more I appreciated this as a fragrance. There's a spicy quality. Um, the notes that are in here all kind of clash together or and meld together, clash and meld together um, at the same time. And there's kind of a, a nice old school vibrance to this that's sort of um, 
well, it's uh, kind of old, like the old spicy. Um, when you first spray this, you're going to get a nice citrus, uh, green kind of a, a vibe, and it's going to kind of fade down into that tarragon and, and woods. Uh, and all throughout, there is a kind of a, kind of a rubberiness to it. Um, I would not shy away from this just because of the rubbery quality. I, I think this is a nice cologne aftershave. It is a splash. Um, check it out. It's, it's not expensive. And, um, well, it's Amazon, and I believe you could send it back if you needed to. But um, I like this. And out of the, one, the, the several that are in front of you, I like this one the best. Now, we have <laughs> number 74, and uh, let me just get over there so you can see that. Hello, toilet cleaner. <laughs> well, you know, I don't want to be too harsh because I actually like this, but I have to tell you that After I sp splashed this on, I was like, wow, did I just clean the bathroom? <laughs> and it is, uh, it's, it is pretty sharp in that respect. Um, a lot sharper and harsher than I had hoped. So, uh, what I like about this, though, and what keeps me wearing it, there's a couple of things. One... I feel this would be better for summer for war or spring or for warm weather. And that possibly might be why it's not um, seeming the best for, for me right now because it is cold weather. It's 30 degrees and some snow. So let's take a look also on Amazon. Taylor Vaux Bond Street, number 74, Victorian Lime Aftershave. Well, Victorian makes it sound ancient, and it certainly seems that way in some respects. Traditional lime fragrance is certainly traditional. Contains menthol for an invigorating finish. Hmm. I was not aware of that. Helps close pores, soothes skin after shaving. Tra traditional citrus, lime, woody, fuchsia fragrance with a touch of menthol and i will tell you it is on the chemical side uh not that all oils and chemicals are not chemicals it's just that you know it you can it smells chemically so uh you may not like this and you may like it um try buy or pass on this i would have to tell you to pass um but you know, it's interesting. I would like to own all of the Taylor of Old Bond Street um, men's um, fragrances just as is to collect them and to appreciate them and to use them because um, they are unique. It is a unique house and I appreciate, I appreciate them. Um, this is not my favorite fragrance, however, but I will be using it and uh, I'll see how it goes. Okay, I would like to take a look at some customer reviews because those were interesting when I looked before. Um, someone said they bought it for their husband for Christmas. He wears it every day and loves it, and so do I. So people do like this. If you like lime, you know there's a few choices. It's a high quality aftershave, although a little pricey. And that would certainly depend on your perspective but um, a nice aftershave if you like a strong citrus scent there is a, a hint of lavender and floral someone else said it is very light and lasts an hour max well 
I did find another spot with other reviews and I'd like to find those because they were interesting. A real gentleman's aftershave. You know, there were some negative reviews and I'm not finding them now. And that kind of makes me happy because it makes me feel wrong and that people like it. It seems like there are people that like this. And so that's a good thing. And that just goes to show that um, uh, maybe this is just my initial impression. I don't know yet. Uh, well, I know this is my initial impression, but I don't know if that will change as time goes on.